Well, we made it. We are at Kurumba. Uh, wind is meant to be coming down in the next couple of days, so we'll, fingers crossed, be able to get the tinny off. Have a look. But uh, yeah, we just got here set up, and we're just going to go check the town out now. So if we find anything, we'll be sure to show you. We are doing the Kurumba to Kurumba Point walk. It's 3.8 kilometres and hopefully there's markets on at the other end. And the coffee. Yeah, and the coffee. We really want a coffee. We've been hanging out for ages for a decent coffee, a nice little place to sit down, make some plans, discuss our next move, because uh, at this point we don't really know, but it's pretty nice here. We've booked in for six nights at two different caravan parks. Uh, yeah, and fingers crossed I can get the boat in. If everything goes to plan, we might get it in the Savi. If not, it'll be uh, tomorrow. Because tomorrow and the following day, which is what, Monday and Tuesday, they look like the best days. Uh, and potentially Wednesday, but... Oh, I've been speaking to so many oldies around here that have all got their little tinnies and everyone's been struggling, so... I'm out to prove a point. And so far, every time I've tried to do that, it's failed. <laughs> See if we can get eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> yeah. Right, oh, well, we've got a heap of pop one mullet at the mouth of this creek. And they call them pop one mullet because the heads stay out of the water. You might just be able to see them on the, on the edge of this mangrove line. All their little heads. But they're bloody good bait. And if we could get some and find a snag up here to sit on, we're probably just as likely to get something doing that than anything else. Let's see what happens. Well, Kate just got her first brim. It's not a bad size little brim. Uh, we've fished for a few hours now and it's, we've lost a few fish and whatnot, but um, she's finally managed to land one. And uh, yeah, hopefully we might continue to get catch something from now on. Good brim anyway, we don't have an esky, so it's going back. Kate's on to her second fish of the day. And uh, it's a little dewy. So far the day is bloody shit house. We are struggling so much and there's about 10 boats around us and I haven't seen anyone else even reel a fish in yet, so. Anyway, keep, keep going. I don't know, but I'll lose it. Guarantee I'll lose it. You'll lose your mind. Oh no, I actually am. Oh no, oh no. Oh, it spooled me. Can you untie the, can you untie the anchor real quick? All right, we're getting line back on him. <laughs> Holy shit. Literally spooled me. I was down, I was down to nothing. It's not a barra because it hasn't jumped. I think it's a nice dewy, eh, I reckon. Or a shark, but a shark I would have been, I would have lost it by now. I reckon. More like the catfish of all catfish. Crocodile. <laughs> no. 
Look how much line do you have on your road? As in like... 100 metres? <laughs> 100 metres along, well it's actually 150 but I'd say it'd be more like 100. Just want to look mate, I just want to look and then you can, you know. I gain a bit on him, he just freaking goes again. Honestly, I'm doing this for you guys, eh? I would have cracked the shits with it by now, usually. I'm like, sweating, because I just want to see it. I don't know what it is. Just doing circles under me, eh? Just a real big... Real big heavy weight. It's a Joey! It's a Joey! Yes! That is a Joey, guys. Holy doolies. Just loosen the drag off a bit. I got him hooked pretty well. It's times like these you really wish you had a net. I'm gonna go for the lip grips. But as soon as he looks at me, he's not gonna be happy. it is I don't even have a brag mat oh that is so sick <laughs> all right I'm gonna get the big boy back I don't want him out of water anymore but um, that is that is sick that's a Karumba Dewey that is mental <laughs> Hopefully he swims off. <laughs> oh, that is so good. You have no idea how hard I've been trying for a bloody fish. And you know what caught it? A tiny bit of mullet on a tiny little hook because I'd given up lure fishing. I thought, bugger everything. Oh, and it's shit all over me, but hey. It is, this boat's filthy at the moment, so I reckon we can call it there. I'm bugging now. <laughs> right, hey, I've caught a fish. See if I can land it. Come on, baby. And it's a barra. Let's see if I can land it. Yeah! <laughs> nice work! Finally got a bloody barra! <laughs> oh, that's so good! And uh, for, helping me, oh, for helping me get it, I've given it to these guys. Thanks very much! Nearly better measure him. Better measure him. 
62. 62. Yep. Oh, 63. There you go, you bloody beauty. The curse is over. This is a good one. We got our mates coming over again. <laughs> Get the net. And he's flicked the lure out as well. Look, it's in the net at the top. Got the boat. That's a better one. It's a good barrel. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked with that. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Day two here at Karumba fishing. Uh, we've been here for actually three days, but it's second day fishing. And there's a little place we went up yesterday, and uh, it's called Ship Creek. And I'm gonna hit it again, Masavi. It's about what two o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. Um, outgoing tide, and we've got probably it's about two or three k's run up the river, and uh, we'll be there. Hopefully, we don't get stuck in this creek because it is an outgoing tide. Um, but it's not a very big low, it's only about a 1.2 metre low, so hopefully that'll be enough to get back out. Uh, and fingers crossed, we will do some damage up there. Yeah. We're on. Barra are on. <laughs> oh no, I've done it. <laughs> Take it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, they keep fishing. Coming back this way. Righto guys, well uh, this is a bit of that barra that we were given the other day. I caught, old mate kept it, he filleted it, dropped it back to us. Absolute bloody legend of a bloke. 
Uh, but all we're doing is crumbing it up today. So you just need a bit of flour. Um, and then I'll just get crack one egg um, into a bowl of, of milk. I don't exactly know the, um, the ratios, but anyway, it's whatever you reckon works. And then um, just got a bit of panko crumbs. Um, and yeah, a few bits and pieces in that, garlic and um, salt and pepper and things like that. Um, but yeah, all you want to do is just lightly dust it in flour, drop it into your egg wash. I think that's what they call it. Um, but that's the rinse off and then just press all your crumbs on. And that is a crumb piece of barramundi. Um, and then what I like to do as well, a little, little trick, is to actually put that back in the fridge. Righto, well, uh, this is what we've come up with. This is fresh barra that's been crumbed, and uh, it looks bloody delicious. Righto, well, this is the last day we are spending here at Karumba fishing. We're here for another few days, but uh, we actually picked up a little bit of work. Um, we're working at a cafe called Ashes Cafe. Uh, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes and sweeping the floor and doing all those fun jobs and uh, Kate's cleaning rooms so we got off with the job and uh, yeah just took it with both arms and um, yeah we spent probably what the last three days working um, so we've, we watched the State of Origin last night, watched Queensland, Queensland get absolutely flogged which wasn't that exciting but uh, we decided to have today off and come out and try and chase some more barra. Uh, Kate hadn't actually caught a barra yet she's landed a few of them for me but uh, she hasn't caught one so today the big mission is for her to try and catch one. Uh, we'll see how we go conditions are absolutely bloody insane best weather uh, we got a run out tide and it should be at about uh, 1.8 meters about five o'clock sabi so bit higher than what I would have liked but it's still pretty good and uh, we've got a little bit of a run back up the creek so we'll get into it and uh, we'll see you up there hopefully catching a few fish. from around these parts and I don't actually know what that is. Is it a blue nose? Blue, a bluey or something? I think they call them. My God. Anyway, we'll get him back. Righto guys, well, we only managed to catch that one fish. It was a blue salmon. Um, but yeah, like that's fishing, it's all good. We uh, come out here with high hopes to bag out again and bloody just absolutely smash it, but didn't happen. Anyway, we're uh, we're gonna go put the boat on now, have some dinner, and uh, we got to work tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, we plan on going up to the beach and uh, watching the sunset there. And we might even wet a line up there as well. So uh, we'll see you there. Hello guys, well that's it from us. We are on the move again. We're heading south this time towards Mount Isa. We're he heading to Birkenmulls Roadhouse and then uh, to Cloncurry. And just outside of Cloncurry, there's a dam called Corella Dam. Uh, we're gonna head there for a few nights. I've um, oh, I shared myself a couple of yabby pots, a couple of red claw pots. So, um, or opera house nets, what are you gonna call them? And um, we're gonna have a crack for some red claw. So stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully we'll get some. There's a few people we that we know that are camping at the dam at the moment and uh, they're doing pretty well with the red claw. So we'll go suss that out. But uh, we got paid this morning from Ash's uh, cafe, which was bloody handy. So we're all bloody cashed up, ready for the next adventure. You bloody beauty. Righto guys, thanks heaps for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one, eh?
Oh, that's the one. Doing a little taste test with peeled a few. Got a thousand oil and a bit of salt and pepper. Number two. Here we go. 